This is ratios written as fractions. I would have the students come to the rug and I have three red pegs to four green pegs. And the students can write that out as three to four. And then we're going to add a second row. And the students can write out the second row as six to eight. So we know that when we have a ratio, we're comparing the antecedent to the consequence. So in this first ratio, three is the antecedent and four is the consequence. Here we have six as the antecedent and eight as the consequence. In this one, we can say something about the relationship between the six and the eight. We know that the six is three-fourths of eight. So this is where we can show the students that what we're doing is that our ratio marks, the colon here, is actually telling us that we would divide. So we have six divided by eight. So we can also write them as a fraction. So we have the ratio written as 3 to 4 here, and that's also equal to 3 fourths. For the second one, we have 6 to 8, or 6 eighths. The students can bring these down and tell me how we would take this first fraction and use a multiple to get it to the second fraction. And they can explain that if we multiply the top number by 2, we also have to multiply the bottom number by 2. And that's another way to show the relationship between these two numbers. I would have more examples for the students to do that they could write out and remind the child that we did very similar work when we were working with fractions.